Redline can be used in many crops, including corn, soybeans, dry edible beans, potatoes, sugar beets, sunflowers, and wheat. Redline not only contains unmatched chelation, it also includes a complete blend of nutrients that are necessary for plant growth. Redline can be applied at 3 gallons per acre, including all these micronutrients, versus 1034O, which is often used at 5 gallons plus the addition of zinc. And with a lower salt content than 1034O, Redline is safe on seed. As part of an in furrow system, Redline and Soy Green have proven to be the most effective starter fertilizers in the industry. But don't just take our word for it. Here's what retailers are saying about Redline and in furrow. Plant has got to take it through the roots. That it, that's the only way it's going to take it. And the closer we get it to the root, the more benefit we're going to have. There was an advantage, monetary dollars, of doing it. We have, a, if a grower asks me that, we have a spreadsheet that we can show them. And here's what growers are saying about Redline. During a conversation with Lance Hegman, he told us, After using 1034O starter on our corn for close to 20 years, we did a field check with Redline three years ago. One field had straight 1034O, and another had 1034O along with Redline. The field with Redline was 10 to 15 bushels better than straight, regular starter fertilizer. It paid for itself, and in the next year, we put Redline on all of our corn acres. It's a fact. Redline corn acres outyield other starter fertilizers. And in three years of replicated trials at multiple locations, Redline outyielded corn receiving 1034O by an average of 10 bushels per acre in replicated research trials. Redline also outyielded all competitor starter fertilizers it was tested against by 14 bushels per acre in grower strip trials. Redline has outperformed the standard starter fertilizer treatments as well as the untreated check over several years of testing in corn, dry beans, soybeans, and sugar beets in multiple replicated trials across the Midwestern United States.